So if we have a problem on the machine and we're getting a code F3 tray lift trouble, normally you can't clear that fault. You'll just have a code on the machine and there's nothing you can do. So first of all, what we do is check the cassette on the right hand side of the machine. So we open up the right hand door, drop down the side flap, and then we'll check the tray. We just open up the tray and then we just check that the paper's loaded correctly, like this. That these guides are not sat back there, causing an issue with the tray. These guides are not open or too tight, because that can cause an issue too. One of the common things is paper underneath here might be folded under like that. So just make sure all your paper's loaded correctly. The guides are not too tight. And we just push that one up to the back, just like that. Everything's okay there. We've still got the fault code, so what we need to do is go into the settings of the machine to clear that code. So to do this, on this machine, the home button is here. As before, on your older machines, you may have had the home button here. So what we do is tap that twice. Tap where it says version. And then we'll get the keyboard. Ash star, C star. That gets into simulation mode. So in simulation mode, number 15, paper feed trouble cancellation. So we're going to select that. We're going to select execute. And then yes. Once that's cleared like that, we go up to here, press this box with the arrow, and simulation will complete. And that will reset the code and reset the fault.